Hello everyone, welcome back. Alright, I just got home from work. I had to work a little OT tonight. Um, yeah, they got me coming in Sunday night too, but it's all good. It's great overtime just before Christmas. Um, but yeah, thought I'd grab another challenge lock here and um, see if we get into it and see what's inside. This is a Malin. Um, this lock was sent to me by Artemis Picks. Um, Artemis, thank you very much for this lock. I really appreciate all the locks you gave me. Um, and this here was, is pinned by Den Brass. Uh, it's got a Yale style keyway. Um, that's the bidding on it. And yeah, I'm going to see if we get in it and uh, we'll see what's inside. Alright, well these Yale style keyways, I could usually use my Peterson at 40,000. It usually fits pretty good on top of the keyway in these. Yep, and it does. And I will go with my short hook from Sparrows and try to work off this ledge here and if I have to go to my deeper hook I will. Alright, let's see what we got. One is loose. Two is loose. Three is loose. Trying to get under five. Very tight. Might have got a click out of five. connotation of four. Ooh, might have overset them now. Let's try this again. I believe I got a little bit from five, a little bit from four. I got a tiny turn on the core, some counter rotation on three. Mm. I think I overset that one too. All right, that was two. I got a pretty good fall set. Counter on three. I think I got him. I got a really good fall set going now. Okay, I got a really deep fall set. I think I didn't have three set all the way or something. So now I got a real deep fall set going. Rotation off of one. Try to set them without dropping anything. Real deep. Come on. Okay, I might have got him. That was a Deep one, wow. Okay, we're open on four. Sweet. That was a fun lock. All right, the melon. All right, let's see what we got inside of it. All right. That's one of those weird clips where I could lock this up. Let's see if we could poke it through the middle, maybe.
He doesn't like to turn clockwise. I'm going to shim it. Alright. Let's see what we got. All the keys are working. We got a very um, nice T pin right there in four and in two. Alright. Let's see what we got. Get it to focus a little bit better back there. All right. Key pin one, we have a serrated. Key pin two, we have a serrated T pin. Three, serrated. Four, another T pin. And five, another serrated. And up here we have everything threaded. Everything in the core is threaded. Alright, let's see what we got up here. Take that shim out of there. Let's see what he's packing up top. Pin one, we have a very deep serrated spool. And it was a key pin. Serrated on top, very deep spool too. There's the spring, We've got a copper spring. Pin two, we have another serrated spool. Another copper spring. Pin four, looks like a T-pin. Serrated T-pin. And three. Nice pins. I think they're all key pin made from key pins. Four, we have another deep spool serrated to a T pin. It's another key pin. Nice. Very nice. A very small spring. Okay, so we do have a little bit of a difference. The springs are a little different. All right, pin five. We have a serrated and a tightly wound copper. And up here, it looks like he has everything threaded up here too. I did bring my flashlight too this time. If we could see in there. Hold on, let me see if I can focus it up here. Alright, yep, you can see everything is threaded. Every chamber in the Bible is threaded. Yep. So, let's take a quick look at these pins. Let me put these down so they don't roll off of here. Can't wait till I could zoom in on things. Alright, so we have a... Here, let me actually bend this down a little more. We have serrated in one... A serrated T-pin in two, another serrated in uh, three, that might be upside down, and a T-pin in four, and a serrated in five. And up here we have a very deep spool serrated on the top, another spool in two serrated on the top, um, kind of a spool serrated to a T-pin in three. Um, same thing here in four, spool serrated to a T-pin. And uh, serrated in five. And up here we have a copper spring. I believe that's a steel spring. Another copper. A very small. I guess that might be a steel spring. And another copper. Oh no. Another fun lock to pick. Awesome. So yeah. Um, thank you for the lock Artemis. Um, Den Brass. Great job uh, making the lock. Yeah. So, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, and for every, oh, if you have any questions or comments, comment below. And for everybody else, if you don't have their permission, don't open it. Thanks, guys. Bye.